Today we are going to see very interesting project of LED display system by using Adino and ESP8266 microcontroller. So this is a local Wi-Fi based LED display board system. So using this system we can send the data to the LED board through Wi-Fi network without using internet. Okay, so the LED network can be direct connected to the local Wi-Fi system and also uh, we can send the data to the LED system from the mobile application. So here I have developed an example uh, mobile application. So that is Wi-Fi display test. Here we will be sending the three lines of data, line 1, line 2 and moving text. Line 1, line 2 data will be showed statically in the display and moving text will be scrolling in the display. And here we need to set the IP address to the board. The One more thing is we can automatically connect this uh, LED board to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, if the network uh, SSID and password which is stored inside the controller is not detected, the Wi-Fi board will get into the uh, access point mode so that it will become the hotspot, it become the server. So by using the IP address of the server that is 192.168.43.1 by using that IP address of the server, we can connect to the Wi-Fi network, we can connect to the Wi-Fi network that is the LED board network and from there we can uh, input the new SSID and password without uh, recoding the microcontroller board. We don't need to open the uh, box and program the microcontroller again for programming the SSID and password because SSID and password is stored in the memory which can be programmed uh, from the external browser by, by making the this LED board as a access point. So that is programmed inside the controller. Okay. So for example, now I am going to turn on the LED board without turning on the hotspot. Okay, so what will happen? The board will search for the hotspot and it will not get connected. But it will show the previous message stored inside the EEPROM. Whatever the message we are displaying in the LED board is also stored in the EEPROM. So whenever when you turn on, the previous message will be displayed. So now I am turning on the... So when you turn on, it will give the buzzer sound and also it will show the value. So previously I have shown the token number 6. So it will show the previous message and also it will try to connect to the Wi-Fi network. If the Wi-Fi network is not available, it's not able to get connect. Okay. It will show the previous message again and again because the Wi-Fi network is not available actually. Once the Wi-Fi network is made available, what will happen? It will automatically get connect to the Wi-Fi network. So and it will display the IP address of the because the IP will be assigned dynamically, right? Sometimes if you use more than one system. So the IP address will be displayed in the LED board itself. Now, since I have not... turned on the Wi-Fi hotspot during the initialization of the Wi-Fi, now it's in uh, hotspot mode. So now we can get connect to the... Wi-Fi board. So it will show auto connect AP. So this is auto connect AP is the network and password is password. Okay. So we are going to access the Wi-Fi board now. So it is connected to the auto connect AP now. Okay. So it is now connected. So now I can go to the Okay, now I can go to the browser and input the IP address of the So now I have given the IP address of the server address of the Wi-Fi I am just getting into the So you will get the auto connect AP So here I can configure the Wi-Fi. It will show the available Wi-Fi network. So it's showing the available Wi-Fi network. So here I can give my SSID and password and I can save and refresh. So now it will be saved. So once it is saved, I can. So refresh will refresh and show what are the Wi-Fi network is available and save will save the SSID and password. So I am saving embedded123. Okay. So my username is embedded. 
am setting e m b e d d e d embedded and password is embedded 123 e m b e d d e d save it is now saved so credentials are getting saved so now it will try to connect the esp to the network okay once it connected it will show the ip address okay now it's trying to connect to the network it's not saved so now the wifi board card connected to the ip address we configured using auto connect so it is showing the ip address so this is the ip address of the led board so without reprogramming the microcontroller we can configure the ip address we can save the ssid and password inside the microcontroller okay fine now i can open the led display okay so wifi display test and i can set the ip address here whatever the ip address it's showing so it's 192.168.43.1 140 43.147 okay i am setting the ip address saving the application so line 1 i need line 1 i need line 2 so i am giving the line 1 so line 1 token line 2 board and line 3 i need and line 3 is token number token number 5 for example and sending this data to the led port so one thing is without using internet we don't need any internet for the settings so new data is arrived buzzer sound we are getting the buzzer sound and you can see the okay i have made some spelling mistake token number 5 okay now i am going to change the token number to 8 and again sending the data so again the buzzer sound if comes the new data will come here okay so we are getting token number 8 so this is how we can send the data to the wifi board and it can be used for any purpose for showing the price of the gold or for showing the token number in the hospitals for any purpose we can use it and show the values in the display so thanks for watching